The familiar reproductive structure of the pine tree is the cone, but pine trees actually produce two kinds of cones on the same tree. This is the male cone, which produces vast amounts of tiny pollen grains. Each pollen grain is, in fact, the male gametophyte generation, reduced to two or three cells in a waxy protective coat. This kind of pollen grain has wing-like structures to help it on its journey to the female cone. Higher up the tree, we will find the female cones. The female cone consists of a central axis surrounded by leaf-like structures called sporophylls. Deep inside the female cone, ovules develop into the mature female gametophyte generation, bearing fertile egg cells. Completely eliminating the need for water, the pollen grains are carried on the wind to the female cones. Once inside, the pollen is retained, and when the egg cells are ready, the pollen grain generates a special tube so that fertilization can take place. The male gamete fuses with the female egg cell. This union of gametes produces the embryo of the sporophyte generation. The embryo is protected inside a tough seed coat, which is surrounded by a papery wing case all inside the cone. When the cone is approximately three years old, the scale leaves open up and the seeds are blown away by the wind. In favorable conditions, the seed germinates and a new sporophyte generation begins. Since the female gametophyte generation remains attached to the parent sporophyte throughout its development, there is no period in the life cycle of the pine tree that requires free water. In fact, the pine tree exhibits many adaptations that help it conserve water. The leaves are needle-like, reducing the surface area available for loss of water. On the outside, the needle has a thick, waxy cuticle to retain moisture while the stomata are sunken deeply below the epidermis to prevent water loss.